Now we're going to do a little bit of work on our site plan now that we've got our building uh, more or less put together. Um, and let's pop over into the site plan here. So I got you to uh, insert the image um, that we were given from the PDF on the brief. And um, we scaled that up, if you remember correctly, and we pinned it. So I'm going to click on the image itself there, and I'm going to unpin. Now, I'm just going to use, with the image selection, I'm just going to use my um, arrow keys here. Um, what I want to do, I want to get my building fully in on the site. Okay, And we've got a little walkway around it, which we'll need for maintenance and that type of stuff. So it's rare that you'd put uh, the building really butted up against uh, the boundaries, particularly when you've got a bit of space like that there. Now, okay, so I'm going to click out, and I'm going to repin my image there. Now, I'm repin it so that uh, it can't be shifted or moved. Um, right, uh, you can see that my grids, um, I've got some dimensions there, so I'm going to switch those off. They're not really necessary in a site plan view, so I'm hitting VV on the keyboard here now. I'm coming across to the annotation categories, and I'm going to switch off the grids, and I will switch off the dimensions as well. Now, that's kind of tidied that uh, up a little bit. You see my door is opening out here and it's coming in, so I might just switch off the doors uh, as well at, at another point here. So I want to create a topology, uh, but there's a couple of things here. Um, if I create a topology, it's going to cover over uh, the image here, and I don't want that to happen because I want to kind of present the image. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I am going to create a topology because I need it to um, uh, hide the um, into the sheets here. So you can see that my rising wall and my foundations are exposed, and I would like to have those hidden. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a topology kind of just in around this portion here, more or less. And um, so it, it, it won't obscure uh, the image, uh, if you like, in that sense. So let's do this. Into massing and into topo, and I'm putting in these uh, pins at minus 150. I'm just going to see how that works out for me here. So look, I'm going to start here. And I'll come straight down to here. And I'll come straight over to here. And maybe um, up as far as, no, I didn't want to go right onto that one, but it's gone in there. So I'm going to escape, escape. And I'll pick this pin here. Zoom in a little bit, because I just want to shift that one out. I don't want it attached there as such, right? Um, let's see if we can just square this up a little bit here. Oh, okay, well, I'll move that uh, in a second. Right, so here I am. I've created my topo. Uh, I'm going to finish it. And I'm going to pick it again. And I need to put a category onto this. So uh, let's go down to the, uh, to the site materials here. And see what we've got. So I should have a site grass here. Um, where's the grass? I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to duplicate this because um, I do want to take down the transparency, but I want to take, uh, well, just make this really, really, really light in that sense there. Apply and OK and click out. Now, um, so there's my, my topo. And if I go back into my uh, plans here now, uh, you'll see that, look, uh, they're still uh, showing even though I've created the topology. So I have one more thing to do here. What I've got to do is I've got to go over to each of my tags. Mm -hmm. And if I click on the nose of the tag here, it brings up the cut line and its equivalent uh, field of view here. So I'm going to move the cut line, look, up tight. In fact, I'm going to move it right uh, just on the edge of the path here. OK, and I will do my south here now. Again, and I'll just move that uh, up and up. Again, I get it in tight to the path here. And I want to show you what difference that makes. So I will uh, pop in here. Now you can see that, look, in the south elevation, um, I've got my topology and it's covered over uh, the rising wall foundations and the same here. So that's a job that needs to be done. All right, we'll pick this up now. Uh, in the next one, I'll have those other two uh, completed and we'll continue on from there.